Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I am once again really anxious that people can hear me through the walls but I am gonna do my best to maintain a decent volume potentially like that maybe I'll push the mic forward a tiny bit and be quiet <laughs> okay, so I was planning ahead, and we are gonna go grab Kasumi, and then I think we're gonna grab the Archangel. Oh wait, for, we just got Zaid. That's right. So here's here's the station. We still don't. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Our drop shuttle. Okay. Um, so this is, this is the heart of the ship, back here. Oh my gosh, how could I forget about these two? These two are down here, we need to talk to them. Um, this is the most relaxing place on the ship. Anyway, I totally spaced these two. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Yeah, um, so... Usually, I explore the whole ship initially because it's like, oh, it makes sense to have like the you know the commanding officer needs to know her you know backwards and forwards and stuff you know like, um, but I've been I've been lax. <laughs> I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Hmm, where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seem to be doing that. Which is just crazy to, like, hear about this, right? Like, it's like, oh, I did so much, you know, like, I did so much work. And then not only the Council, but the Alliance themselves are, like, backsliding and, like, saying, oh, she was delusional, you know, which part of me can't really fault people for that, because uh, it is it does seem really far-fetched. But look at Sovereign. Like, you know what I mean? Like, once you see, like, the pieces of it, like, I get that they want to, like, pretend, like, they want to pretend that it's not a big threat anymore, you know, because it's a scary thing, and seems, like, very unattainable to, like, fix, you know, but, like, ignoring it isn't going to make it go away either. How'd you end up with Cerberus, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mom. Hmm. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. So how'd you get an offer to join Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Mm-hmm. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right <laughs> in the daddy bags. <laughs> That's enough for me. <laughs> I love it. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the... Kenneth! You're complaining. <laughs> what kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> in short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T-6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. 
We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for surely. Dang it! It's okay, I have to go back. Anyway, for, for Archangel. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Uh, I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. <laughs> I told you she would. I mean, yes. Now I feel kind of bad. But those two are really funny. They're a highlight of being down here. But look how shiny this whole thing is. We go down here. This place is terrifying for certain reasons that we'll see way later. This place is scary for certain reasons we'll see later. Um, but for now, uh, everything ship shape and normal. I was trying to decide what order to pick up new friends in. Oop, this happens to me every time. I always do that. Um, and I think... I was told that when we pick up, when we go do the mission for the Warlord, um, that bringing Zaid and Archangel along actually has some interesting, unique dialogue. So I think we'll do that after we pick up Archangel. Surveillance. Why are you spying on everyone, Zaid? Zaid. <laughs> can't, can't just do that. This is the trash compactor. He's in the trash compactor. He's put himself in the garbage chute. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Oh, I don't care. I <laughs> guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Uh, he's not my elusive man. Uh, for the record, and also, I have also killed upwards of 50 Cerberus operatives. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. Oh! It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. He's... oh my gosh. <laughs> I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. He's a, he's a character that is for sure. He has seen things. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. <laughs> he's, he's psychotic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you could call him clinically psychotic, but uh, there's definitely something. He's definitely brutal. We'll give him that. Um, we talk to Morden. Okay. Usually they have cutscenes when you meet him, but I think Kasumi and Zaid. I can't remember now if we get cutscenes with them ever. We should on the ship, or if it might default to just like dialogue like that for them, um, and then only cutscenes occasionally. No messages. Well, okay, you, thank you. She's my VI. Um, oh wait, 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 wait. talk to Joe. Uh, you gotta talk a joker every time you acquire somebody. Which, to be fair, we acquired Mer Morden and Saeed at the same time, so I don't know what he'll say. 
Commander. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Uh. I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. <laughs> As long as it's not my money, we're good. What? It's just my opinion, though. There's really no. Need to Saeed spread is it like you, but takes checks. Are you what? He's nothing. I'm not like him at all. I'm really nice. Saeed's crazy. Well, he's not crazy either. He's very lucid. He's probably a little crazy. Um, he's just, he's just on his own level. I have the utmost respect for him. But oh my gosh. Also, apparently he voices several people in Dragon Age Origins, which is why I think partially that his voice was so familiar, besides the fact that I've heard him before, you know. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. Hmm. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. It's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Mm -hmm. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't, I think this is the first time I've ever done, like, the up option. Um... I don't know, that's really mean. Like, the one, the mute button one's kind of mean, too, you know? Which is, like, she's, like, right there, like, Edie. I guess it, for now, is right there. Um, and it can hear us, and it's an AI. Like, it's got, you know, rudimentary feelings. Like, it's not, not, it's not, not very nice. <laughs> that's it for now. See you, Commander. I usually do the middle option, which I still don't like. Like, use the, it's got a mute button, use it, you know? And, like, I don't know. I don't like it either, but we're stuck with it. I'm like, oh, that's so mean. It's right there. Also, it could kill us all. <laughs> I'm like, why are you being st stupid about this? Uh, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I like this outfit. It's just not the same as the other people's outfits. Everybody else has, like, Cerberus outfits on. Her outfit looks like, um... Like she's like an operative, like a field operative, you know? Except for the boob window, but you know, it's the future. Boob windows are for everyone, including men. <laughs> um, oh, actually, let's talk really quick. Since I'm here, I'll get the FBA couplings. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, let's just do this. We'll get Archangel. <laughs> We're not getting custody. Just kidding. We'll get her later. Ow. The loading screens are so fast. This brain. Is there a way to get them not like unhappy with you? Like their loyalty is normal, and then once you get their special mission. I guess you could do something in their special mission to make it so they're not happy with you. I do love Crowd Blast. Alright. Uh, what do you want? I think the hand cannon's better. This is the this is his classic one. Medium range, semi-auto- I don't like semi-automatic rifles. Upgrades. It is an upgrade, technically. And it's fine. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Ma. Knew he could do Ma. it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Love it or hate it, here it is. 
Ooh, my new helmet. Oh, that looks so cool, honestly. I really like it. Hey, Gavorn. I Some of you will probably not remember, but I think two episodes ago, in episode eight, we encountered a Vorcha who said something about, tell Gavorn we're not doing his trick, we know his tricks, or whatever. This is that Gavorn. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. Uh, little does he know. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Little doth he know. Uh, also, if you'll remember, if you harken back, uh, when we were down and we got, we talked to the recruitment officials in Arya's bar, they said to come over here. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. The Batarian design kind of grows on you. It's really, I like how unique it is, honestly. Uh, Morden might get us killed in this. The Geth Pies my shotgun, it worked out alright. Do I want the reg- I think I just want the regular grenade launcher. And the arc projector's cool. But there's something very visceral about firing high-speed projectiles that explode. You know what I mean? I enjoy it. <laughs> I missed my calling as artillery. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Mm, just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Mm. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard <laughs> and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Katka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get there? Yeah. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down. But they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. This is crazy. It's one man. One man is doing all of this. Taking on gunships and like hordes of individuals. But he's he, he planned his base well, right? Like he's in a place where they can't just swarm him overwhelmingly. Like you have to come across this really small area and that's very ideal for like a sniper, one man stand type thing. I mean, there's plenty of examples in history, right? Of like small groups of individuals like being able to hold back like larger armies in like a small pass type thing, you know? Like I think, I think like the 300 Spartans, you know, type thing, like holding off like the armies of Persia, you know, that kind of comes to mind. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. 
Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. Okay, bye. I better go find Sergeant Kafka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Don't. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> I don't usually take Zayin on these missions. This is amazing. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. <laughs> Ain't good. And that's the thing, like anybody there, usually I bring people and they like some companion has something to say. Um but having Zaid's fun and this helmet's so cool. I do wonder if there's a way like during eh, to like have it during cutscenes take off the helmet, but it does look pretty cool. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Oh, uh, there he is. Did you see him? There he is, there he is, there he is. And they make us take a really long, long way around. I'm not really 100% sure why. Is there any goodies? I mean, it's to like let you see firsthand, I think, what's going on around here. Because they let you, for whatever reason, I have. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Whatever, whatever reason, I have to talk. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. I don't know why I get to walk past all the merc bosses. It doesn't seem like a very good, um... You know, <laughs> way to send freelancers through is like to make sure they walk past all the bosses. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the Freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. He's a very unique looking Solarian. I really like his design. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. I don't know why they even talk to me. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And they just <laughs> this is the other thing. I wasn't sure if it was this journal or not, or this data pad or not, but they're just leaving out very sensitive information. Just that was basically them getting they're they're getting ready to like band up and like go against Arya, you know? Which is just like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, 
Why would you leave that out and not say anything when I pick it up? Like, it's right there. It's right there. Oh, hey, hey. Don't mind me, la la la. Money. Oh, no. Break that one. Oh, no. <sighs> Little did everybody know that I'm a hacker. Hacker man. Hacker woman. Oh, boy. Jeez. I have messed this up before. That should slow them down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. <sighs> yeah, so we just messed with the uh, with the heavy mech. These are all the little mechs. Um, but we messed with the heavy mech's targeting parameters so that now it will blow up everybody, including us. But, um, we'll also blow up everybody else. Oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Does he have, it looks like he has ranking, like, artillery cannons on his suit. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. <laughs> you the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. Dang, it would be actually really cool to do this with... what we end up getting out of the Warlord mission, potentially. Like, I don't know if they would actually say anything. When did the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their max. We'll see. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. He is just, he's very intimidating. <laughs> I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah? What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave. Until he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half a Yeah, but you couldn't take him out one on one. Adam. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. The, the thing to take away from that is that it was the longest fight of his life till his men got there and they all like ganged up on him. I should get going. About time. Oh. Also, who would ask for the Vorcha to be like protection, like bodyguard? You know what I mean? Leave us alone. Ain't nobody gonna do that. Oh, dang it! I meant to be looking for that. I knew it happened at one of these doors. Um, what was that? No, okay. Money. Protection money, it says in air quotes. Don't shoot my head off, please. While I hack these accounts. again hello don't shoot me <laughs> anyway um i am gonna have to take this end this one here um but i wanted to say 
thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i want to give a quick shout out to my newest patron that i finally noticed after today it's been like two weeks but i wanted to say thank you so much to adam on patreon i appreciate it i know technically adam is in the acorn tier which um gets doesn't get a verbal shout out usually um but i'm gonna try to shout out everybody who starts you know, something on Patreon. I did it. I did it before with the other Acorn tier patrons. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, but yeah. So thank you so much for your support. You will now be listed on the official Patreon end card. So thank you again. And really quick, thank you. Uh, An extra special thank you to my sapling tier patrons. Scalamonger, thank you so much, and Reese Galito, thank you so much for everybody for your support. <laughs> um, I'm having a hard time, sorry. Um, and here's an extra, extra special thank you to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who has been very supportive and whose message I finally replied to from August. Uh, so thank you for your patience and just being really, really supportive and all your comments and everything. I really do appreciate it. So uh, thank you, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next one.